Hello and welcome to the latest episode of UOC TV. My name is Finn H. Street and uh, as Paul Kemp decided not to come to work today, I've got a new presenter with me. Hello, my name is Ryan and we have a fantastic show lined up for you today. Yes, because it's the TV channel from the students for the students. So let's have a look what's on today's show. We have a look into a cabaret event that took place in Carlisle. It's time for the fireworks show and we were there to see it all. We talk to filmmaker Ben J. Southern about his news, American Odyssey. We have a slow crawl around Carlisle as we join the zombie walk event. And first up, I went down to check out a cabaret event that happened here in Carlisle. There was singing, dancing, food, drink. What more could you want? Yes, that sounds like a really, really exciting night. Have you ever performed in a cabaret, Finn? No. I love our little chats. Roll the VT! Oh, God, what an amateur. <laughs> Sorry, I get a wee bit carried away. Here we are at Calva Bar for a cabaret performance of Money, That's What I Want. There's two pound cocktails, food and a musty performance that I don't really want to miss. So shall we go inside and check it out? show went tonight. Um, I think it went pretty good. Um, I made a few mistakes but that always happens in shows. It was amazing. It was I absolutely it. brilliant. <laughs> I think the group songs went really well. Um, the hampers were, were spot on. I thought it was amazing. All, really All the men shouted out there. It's done so well. So are you pleased? Do you think you've raised a lot of money for charity? Um, judging by the bag that Emma's carrying around full of money, I think we've done quite well. So we'll see. We'll post it on the, the Facebook page how much we've made. So. Oh, well, fantastic. Congratulations on a Thank great you. show. Thank you. come back again it's like I know I know we had a differences but this is just absolutely horrible it's like you know I, I'm just doing my usual thing and I try to get something back but it's it's not working it's like you know it's, it's like talking against the wall you, you know what I mean it's just, sorry about that sorry, speak later speak same time Yes, that was absolutely amazing, and I think I'm going to book my tickets for that very, very soon. What was that? You are. The phone. Phone? <laughs> what, 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 phone? <laughs> Professionalism, please. There, there's a camera. We are on air. Yes? Yeah. Yes, well, next up, uh, we've sent our camera crew to the annual Carlisle fireworks show. Yes, we sent down marvellous, gorgeous, beautiful, and my favourite, favourite presenter, Paul Kemp, down to the fire show. It was very cold, but I think he had a lot of fun. So, it's November. We all know summer has well and truly gone. And it's a bit cold and it's a bit depressing, but never fear, because every November, right here in this usually dormant car park, the Carlisle Fire Show comes to town. And I'll tell you what, it's a little warmer than usual. Have been coming here like long? Is it like a regular thing for you guys? First time. Really? Yeah, honest to God, first time. How do like the Glaswegian kind of fireworks compare with uh, Carlisle ones? I like the fair is bigger so far, so I'm 
good. Pretty good. And yeah. a fish. I mean, you could win a fish. I'm not doing that. We yeah. actually, we actually <laughs> won a fish. We have a fish over there. Now what we're going to do is check out the fireworks. This is my favourite thing. So the night is winding down, everyone's had a rather nice time, I think, everyone we kind of spoke to was having a, this evening high spirits, we won a fish, so that's not too bad, that's gone to a very nice song, we couldn't keep it, I'm very responsible. Anyway, remember, this happens every single year at this park, the same place, so if you want something to do during the cold autumn days, and don't forget, the Carlisle Fire Show, I need to say air show there, that's a different thing, the Carlisle Fire Show happens, and check it out, anyway, back to the studio. And there we have it, the Carlisle Fire Show. Particularly awesome this year. Yes, it was. And we're going to move on to something just as awesome. Yes, because we have a very special guest today in the UOC TV studio. So please give a warm welcome to filmmaker Benjo Southern. <laughs> Ben's joining us today to talk about his recent American documentary. And before we talk to him, let's have a look at it. That looked fantastic, Ben. Thank you very much. Um, can you just summarise to us at the beginning what the film is actually about? The 3000 Mile Men is a project I've been working on for maybe about four years, and it's basically uh, following two guys whose dream was to run across the United States. Across the entire... Yeah, uh, right, right across from San Francisco to New York. They started on the beach one end, went to the other. So, straight across. But that can't be easy. There was only, like, particular <laughs> difficulties that everyone was... Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, they, they did about 40 miles a day. You know, that's, that's a lot, you know, they're, they're out, you know, for eight hours a day. It was difficult and it was difficult for us, the support crew as well. Mm. I mean, it, the only other people on it was myself kind of filming and making the documentary and one of the runners' wives, you know, we're in a support car and that would involve us driving ahead and waiting, mm. you know, for an hour for them to catch up and that was the regime for three months in a row, you know, through middle America where there's very little. So it was, it was tough on everybody. Mm. Now, spending about three months with two runners, are you interested in running yourself? Not, <laughs> not to the degree those guys are. But um, I, yeah, I, I like keeping fit and I, like, and I do rock running daily to, for my own personal exercise. So I mm. suppose to that degree, what, what interests me on this kind of thing is this, the kind of the personal will and drive to do something like this. Mm. And, you know, kind of human pushing themselves that hard. So, for, and it's, a, it's also like an extreme sport in a way, you know, running that much for that amount of time. Um, so that's what interests me, the kind of the, the will and the spirit for them to want to, you know, achieve their goals and mm. uh, fulfill their dreams. I think that's what really interests me about this as a, as a film. Mm. Uh, um, let's speak a bit more about the technical side of making the film. How long did it actually take to finish the film? Like, how long was the time period from very start, from first meeting till first meeting. finish the um, film? Well, in terms of the actual stuff that gets into the, the film, it was, you know, three, three months filming. 
Um, yeah, as they did the trip across America, and then maybe about a month of filming in the lead up to them leaving. And then editing took about, I'd say probably about two months, which included everything, which included all the music composition, which included the editing of the entire film and all that kind of stuff. So it took me, I think I started uh, editing it in July and finished beginning of September. Mm -hmm. Think, with so much effort that you put in the film, what are you planning to do with that? Are you planning to have like a commercial release or is it just staying on YouTube? My idea was to kind of put it into festivals, perhaps get it screened in a few places uh, locally, you know, for local interest. And I'm still hoping to do that in Crowley, which is where the main guy lives. But um, yeah, I mean, um, besides putting it on YouTube, I'm not sure what else I can do. I, I'll, I'll continue an ongoing search for festivals, but for the minute it will stay online and hopefully I can just generate enough interest that people will watch it online. and. At the end of the day, what I want to get out of for myself is just exposure of my kind of work. You know, mm. it's not kind of about kind of trying to release it as a film, but kind of people to see what I can do and, and also promote the story, obviously, because it's a very interesting story and one that's been a part of my life for a long time. Well, you say you want exposure um, from this kind of thing. Have you got any other projects in the pipeline similar to this? I've tried directing for the first time at university in the kind of sci-fi, which I'm working on at the moment, which has gone very well. I'd like to continue making stuff, for sure. Um, I don't know what that'll be for the moment. I'm going to be... Uh, editing on a film uh, in university again. Mm. But a lot of my work at the moment is based in university as well as outside, but I definitely would like to continue to make things outside. Mm. I'm particularly quite interested in kind of um, extreme sports in that sense, mm. the documentary in particular. Right, Ben, thank you very much. That was really, really interesting indeed. And in case you want to see the whole documentary, we'll post the link in the description. Please check it out. It's a really, really good piece of filmmaking and a really good documentary as well. Before you leave, Ben, just one last question. What do you think about zombies? I like zombies, Finn, but I think dinosaurs are way cooler. Ooh, very good answer there, very good answer indeed. And the reason I'm asking him is because there was not only the fireworks going on this week, but people of Carlisle were turned into the brain-munching undead. Well, at least some of them. Yeah, so it's time to put on your bloody shirt and eat some brains for the zombie walk. Um, I'm at college studying business. We set out to make a lot of money for the Sick Children's Trust and help George's journey with their cause of raising awareness of VDS. I'm a little bit beyond sick, but they can get help. I can't. They provide home from home accommodation for the kids that are poorly in the hospital and they provide the parents with a bed to stay, toiletries just to make the air visit a bit more pleasant. It's a shame about the weather, I think maybe more people would have came if it hadn't been raining but it's been a really good turnout. I've done the zombie walks before and I just thought it's not something Carl I'll normally do so it'd be more effective be a good little girl. and obviously it's fun as well. I think it went well. There were lots of zombies and I think everyone got into it and they had fun and that's the main thing. There was lots of blood. Lots of delicious blood. Oh, that was pretty scary. Uh, imagine the cleanup operation on that. Oof. Anyways, this brings us to the end of today's show. And uh, if you want to get in contact with us, so let's say you want to help out on UCTV, would it be either on the technical side, so you enjoy operating cameras, or you enjoy writing scripts, or I don't know, you enjoy making your own VTs, or if you want to be in front of the camera, be one of the presenter team like we are, get in contact with us. The details will be below. Also, don't forget to uh, like us, follow us and subscribe us on Twitter and Facebook. And if you want to talk about today's episode or anything related to UOC TV, use our hashtag, which is hashtag UOC TV. But for now, it's goodbye from us. Yes, goodbye. And I hope to see you again soon. Oh, please. Goodbye.